everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and I like to talk about books, unbox subscription boxes, and generally just have a good time. So if you're in for any of that, please consider subscribing. And today we're doing the questions for Stalking Jack the Ripper, the book that we chose for the Page Turners book club. That's what we picked as the name. What do you guys think? Are you guys cool with being the Page Turners? I kind of think it's neat. Uh, I found like some and then actually T from Tea Time Adventures sent me like a million. Like she was like, I got this. <laughs> she sent me all of these cool suggestions. So then I sent some of my favorites to Taylor and then we talked about it and we picked that one together. And I was like, that's so cute. Cause you know, you turn the page. Like I need to explain that to you guys, but I did anyway. Okay. And also there's two things that I need to show you that I'm using with my book club stuff that I'm just going to use for every single book that I read for the rest of my life. Okay, so, but I forgot to show you this uh, the other day when I did my book club, like, goodies, what I'm going to be using. So I'm using this bookmark. It says, Once Upon a Time, and it has a unicorn in there, and it has these tassels on top, and there's, like, confetti stuff in there and, like, sparkles. And on this side, it's magical. And I'm using this for the rest of time because my niece made this. So this will be my book club, like, my book club bookmark for the rest of time. Unless something comes up where it's like a rainbow month and I end up like needing a rainbow bookmark, which I really don't even have that good of a one. This is like, seriously, not even joking, my book club or like any book that I'm reading, this is my bookmark for the rest of my life. And then we have my pillow here that my sister-in-law's mom made for me, which I also forgot to show you guys, but it has a book pocket, which I didn't realize at the time. Okay, I'm going to show you. I put this in here so I don't lose my spot. And then I put this in here and it holds my book. Look at this! It's amazing! It also has a lot of cat hair on it because my cat also loves this. But yeah, so I wanted to show this to you guys because I use them all the time and it just like, I totally forgot to show them to you guys when I was picking out my cool books club stuff. So yeah, okay, so the book that we're reading for this month is Stalking Jack the Ripper, as you guys know. And it says, he murdered women in cold blood. He terrorized an entire city. He taunted those who hunted him down. But despite all of these horrors, in the end, I could not deny it. I was the girl who loved the Ripper. I have not figured out who it is yet. I'm not actually that good at like solving that mysteries and stuff like that, but I did get to chapter 11 and this book is awesome. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys the questions now. I wrote them all down and I leave space for myself so that I can read like what the questions are or I can like write down my thoughts while I go. Something's falling out here. Okay. I don't know what that is. Anyways, uh, number one is what are you? <laughs> and that's how this begins. Yes. <laughs> Okay, what were your first impressions of Audrey Rose Wadsworth and Thomas Cresswell? It's very exciting. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, number two. Did you like the setting of this book? Would you like to visit some of the places from the book? Number three is, were you familiar with Jack the Ripper before reading this book? Number four is, which parts of the book stood out to you the most and why? Number five is, did the plot line unfold the way you expected? If not, what surprised you? Number six, what did you think of Audrey Rose as a heroine? 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 It's heroine, right? I don't know. Somebody tell me how to pronounce that in, in the bottom, in the chat. Is it heroine or heroine? Number one or number two? <laughs> Thank you. Did you enjoy reading from her perspective? Number seven is... Were there any plot holes that left you confused and you would love to have explained? Which, if there is, I'm so excited for this chat because then you guys can, I'll be like, I don't know what happened there. And you guys can be like, oh, this is how it worked. And I'll be like, oh, you guys know. You guys know. Oh my gosh. Book club is so much fun. Um, number eight, did the book spook you or did you get under your skin in any way? And yes. And I'm only at chapter 11. Yes. I'm not supposed to answer yet, but yeah. Gross. <laughs> number nine. Did you suspect who was responsible for the murders? I have no clue. I don't know how far in you guys are and I don't know what's happening. Don't tell me. We're not allowed to talk about it yet. But like, who? Oh, I don't know. I don't know at all. Okay, number 10. Did you like the ending of the book and would you change anything? Okay, so I think that those are really good questions. I'm very happy that it didn't spoil anything. Like when I was looking up the questions, it didn't spoil anything out of the book. So I'm not like um not having my or like being like oh so blah blah was the murderer you know like it didn't tell me any of that stuff which I like so cool on the book web person who wrote these um so this is the 28th today 
So on the fourth, I think it is, we're going to actually discuss the book club, which is, or the book, which is like the next week. And then the week after that, we're going to do like book suggestions. So make sure that you guys think of your book suggestions. Okay. We might even do that in the next one. Like we'll do that on the fourth and then you guys, I'll put like a poll in my community tab and we'll vote on it because we want you guys to be involved. And so far it's been going really well. I will say that Laura the Bargain Hunter was my winner for the book. And when I tried to Amazon her the book, Amazon was like, no, that doesn't work. And I had looked it up to make sure that it was okay that I could do it to the people in the US. And it was like, nope. So I had to get it from Book Depository. So I hope that she gets it in time because apparently that's in the UK and I did not know that. So hopefully she gets it in time that she actually has enough time to read it. I actually kind of want her to like be in book club. Like if she wants to read the books with us, she could do videos as well. You could totally do videos, Laura, if you're watching this, which hopefully you are because you're in book club. Um, I will have the books, uh, like the questions like typed out in the description box. So you, if you guys want to write them down yourselves, they're there. Um, I'm also going to try and figure out, I tried to figure out how to make it like a thing where I could send it in an email to somebody and I tried to send it to Taylor and it didn't work. So I might have to figure out a different way to do that, like a PDF maybe or something. I don't really understand computer stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. Somebody smart out there will know how to t do it. Anyways, please like this video and check out my description. Blah. Check out my description box for other content creators. Thank you guys so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. Thank you so much for joining book club. I'm so excited. Like I, you guys don't even know. I love book club so much. I'm just like, I'm talking about it all the time. Like all of my friends, my family, everybody knows that I'm doing book club on YouTube and it's amazing. <laughs> okay. I really, really appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.